we're going to focus on minor to major, Binky Bauer. Uh, but let's do a little review first, okay? If we're going to start on our bass string, we're going to take the number of notes we're going to play minus five. That's going to give us our fret change. So if we're doing four, one, two, three, four, we end on E. Our next one is going to be an F. We're going to slide down one fret, okay? Slide down a fret, another string. Here we stay on the same fret, and then we slide down. Okay, we're going to do three notes of string, chronologically, chromatically. Then we take three minus five, that's going to give us our fret change of a negative two. An easy way to do that is one, two, three, slide down to where you start. slide down one instead of two, and then we go back to sliding down two. Okay, now that slide is not really a good habit, but when you start doing this fast, it messes with your eyes, okay? So by sliding that, it helps you feel where you're going and what you need to do, all right? Sun's starting to come out a little bit. So what happens when we only do two? Well, two minus five gives us a negative three change. So one, two, I gotta go down three. One, two, three, and here we start again, okay? So E, F, G flat, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, D flat, okay? But that brings us a long ways. So we'll come back to this. That's what all this is about. So what happens when we do four notes? We want to start from the high string. Well, we got to consider it a seven string guitar, or we take the other half, our seven notes, right? Out of 12, five and seven is 12. So one, two, three, four minus seven gives us a fret change of three, right? So one, two, three, four, our next starting point is F. Okay. So we started here. One, two, three. There's F. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But look where I finish. So now that works on our change, um, sliding up the neck and changing our fingers and getting us used to starting at a new point, right? So how do we incorporate this with two? Uh, we could go E, F. We got to go down five frets. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're at G flat. E, F. Right? D F G flat G A flat A flat A. Okay. E F G flat G A flat A. E F G flat G A flat A B flat B C D flat. So see how far we travel in that just doing two notes at a time? Well how can we stay closer? Okay. This is where our minor to major comes into play and we use that concept to navigate the fretboard right so our D minor is going to be an F major okay so this is where we end on the first string and this is where we're gonna start on the first string when we do this okay so we're gonna focus on these two strings the G string and the B string uh, to show easier than if we were to deal with our low bass strings. But I'll cover that here in a second. So we go D flat D, E flat D, okay? Okay, so I ended here on this string and I ended here on this string. Well, what's the minor to E? They're major to an E minor. It's a G, okay? 
and what is our major to a D minor in F, right? So D flat, D, E flat, E. Our next one's F, F, G flat, G, A flat. Our next progression is an A, so what's our G flat major? An A, okay? So that's our starting point. And we finish on C. Our next starting point is D flat. Back to where we started. 4, 8, 12. So D flat, D, E flat, E, F, G flat, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C. Okay. Now, since there's that string drop between G and B, that makes it easier. And then what happens if we want to go and play the lower strings, okay? Well, let's do it this way. Let's start here at A flat. A flat A, B flat B. Now we got a wider gap change, but that concept still stays the same, okay? A flat A, B flat B. Our next one is C, C, D flat, E flat D. C D flat D E flat. Sorry. C D flat D E flat. Then our next starting point is E, right? E F G flat G. A flat A B flat D. C D flat D D flat. So this is a way we can navigate on two strings, two notes at a time, working up chromatically. All right, so that, that's going to get us thinking a little bit more. It's going to get us transitioning. Okay, so notice those patterns of how we have to change, what relationships they have. That's our ending one on this string. Our major is here, that's our next starting point. That's our next starting point. Okay. So hopefully that will help uh, you open your eyes a little bit more to how the guitar is constructed, um, get you using your fingers, get you thinking a little bit more um, and seeing where to go. Take your time, work slowly, um, use the cheats if you have to. Okay. Figure out different ways, different patterns to help you think about it um, and navigate your way to the fretboard. All right, peace, love, stay strong. Happy New Year, all.